through time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperately that you're right, yet to fail all the same. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny still arrives. Right, we know. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and stretch out arm and smite Egypt. And do what? And smite Egypt. The Lord gonna do to the so-called white man. Smite Egypt. The Lord gonna do to the so-called white woman. Smite Egypt. We're gonna have to smite Egypt. We're gonna have to put these rednecks in the captivity. Right. We're gonna have to put these slanted eyed uh, Asians in the captivity. Right. Right. We're gonna have to put the red dot hair East Indians in the captivity. Right. Right. All these other nations have to serve the children of Israel, just like we serve them, just like we serve the Babylonians, the Assyrians, right? The Persians and the Medes, the Greeks and the Romans, right? The Lord said all the curses that he put upon us go come upon our enemies. In Deuteronomy uh, 30 and 7, right? Read on. And smack Egypt with plagues. With what? With plagues. Oh, that's why you see all these horrible things happening in America. Those are the plagues that the Lord brought upon Egypt. Right. right? That's why all these wildfires happen. That's why all these floods happen. All these mass shootings. All these earthquakes. Right? All these famines. Right? The Lord is bringing plagues upon Egypt. Right? You know. And hey, y'all lovely ladies got a minute for the words of God? Do y'all believe in the Bible? All right. Well, y'all got to repent and put my support on. All right, sister? Y'all Israelites. All right, sister? If you talk to him every night, I'm pretty sure he would have told you to put on my support. That's right. <laughs> you know, we got to make it make sense, man. Read on. And smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And will do what? And destroy all the land thereof. So the Lord said he going to have to destroy all the land thereof. So this whole land has to be destroyed. Right. Right? The Lord said it's only going to take one hour to destroy this. Hey, let me ask you a question. Yeah, what? How you feel about that? that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk, you walk right into my trap. How you feel about that? <laughs> no, don't run away. Hold on. Bad. You said bad, bad. bad. right? Bad. So who did that to these people? White people. So what's your ethnicity? White. You white. So your people did this to our people, right? Fucking no, I'm embarrassed. You embarrassed. So how do you feel about it? Bad. Really bad. Yeah. So are you willing to show actions? You are? Yeah. All right. Are you an honest woman? Absolutely. Okay, well, we go find out. Let me get Isaiah 49, 23. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. You said you was going to stay and listen, all right? All right, so listen to this, right? All right, you got it? All right, bring that out. The book of Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 23. All right, so we going we to rewind this, right? So you say you truly feel sorry about what your people did to our people, right? So, how do you show your forgiveness? Do you just say you sorry, or do you have to show that you're sorry? No, I'm sorry. All right, so we're going to see if you're going to show it. Read that. And kings shall be thy nursing fathers, right. and their queens thy nursing mothers. Right. They shall bow down to thee. They shall do what? They shall bow down to thee. They shall do what? They shall bow down to thee. So the Lord said, if you truly feel sorry about all the horrible things that your people did to our people, you have to bow down to the children of God. All right? Hold on, hold on. All right? That's good. That's the first step, all right? That's right. But we're going to get deeper in the, into, the, into the scriptures. You know? Hold on. No. Hold on. Hold on. We're not finished. We not finish her on eight. No, no, no. Yep. All right, there we go. Good job. Good job. Stay right there. All right, Stay right there. Hey, yep. Stay right there. Don't move. Don't move. You got some more friends? Bring them over too. We got. They shall bow down to thee. Right, so they bow down, but that's just half of it. So let's get the other half. Read. With their face toward the earth. 
and lick up the dust of thy feet. And do what? And lick, lick up, up the, the dust, dust of thy feet. Oh, hold on, hold on. What's your name? Anna. Anna. Okay, Anna. Karen. Karen. Oh, wow. Karen. Okay. Anna and Karen. So the Lord said you have to bow down and lick up the dust of the children of God's feet. So we hate to break the news to you when we actually we really don't. But you have to kiss the boots of all the children of God. If you truly feel sorry about what your people did. Right? All praise to the most high. Hey, call her lady, how about she be shot? That's right. All praise. Hold on, you're not done. Hold on. No. Yep. Alright, all praise. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Alright, hold on. Yep, go ahead. Go ahead. Get in line. Y'all go ahead, get in line. Alright. Hold on, wait. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. Yep, go ahead. Yeah, everybody get, get. All right, all praise. Go ahead. All praise to the most high. Go ahead, Ken. Come on, Ken. Now, Ken. Hey, Ken. Ken. No, listen. Okay, hold on. Ken. 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 Come on, Ken. Your name is Ken, so you already got, you already, come on now. Go ahead. No, no, Ken. Get, get back down, Ken. Ken. Don't do that, Ken. I, I don't know about Ken, but the Lord might show you some mercy, right? All right. All right, hold on, hold on. Let me show you one more thing, all right? All right, all right. Let me get the book of Zechariah, chapter 8, and verse 22. Let me, let me all right? So the Lord might show you mercy, all right? Right? You might be a good slave in the kingdom, all right? That's right. Now, Karen, I don't know about Karen. She she was kind of iffy, all right? Oh, you just met her? Well, you might want to keep an eye on her. She, she, she seemed kind of shady, right? So stay right there. So read that, Zechariah 8, 23. Book of Zechariah, chapter 8, verse 23. Thus said Yahweh, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. That's what the Lord said in these last days. All you other nations go take the skirt of the chosen people. That's right. So you're going to be cleaving to God's chosen people. Right? Read on. Take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, right. saying, we will go with you. Do what? We will, will go, go with you. you. Wait, you said your name was what? Yeah. Anna said, what Anna go say? We will go with you. Anna, we're going to have to take you into captivity, right? So, Lord willing, you could be on my plantation. You want to work on my plantation? I don't want you to work on my plantation. No, you going to work on my plantation. Oh, you. Okay, you see that? All yeah, praises. All praises. We will go with you, for we have heard that God is with you. What Anna gonna say? God is with you. What Anna gonna tell the children of God? God is with you. The Lord said, you gonna say that God is with us. Like I said, Lord willing, I get to claim you on my cotton field. You know how to pick cotton? No, but I learned. Okay, all, hey, I like this devil, right? Yeah. All the praises to the most high. We got a good year. My people can make your people do it. I can fucking learn. Okay, that's good, right? So, hey, look, you keep that same spirit, and I might not, you know what I'm saying, I might not be too harsh on you in the kingdom, That's all right? right? Instead of a thousand lashes, you might get 999, all right? Yeah. All praise to the most high. Yeah. All right, Anna, we ain't going to hold you up, though, Anna, but you, we just want you to know, all right? Uh, we, we, we don't, we can't, we can't shake the yeah. yeah, we, we'll give you a little bit, okay, all praise, all praise, all right? Okay, all praise, Anna, all right? So don't forget this night, Anna, all right? Hey, Anna, she might be a good slave in the kingdom. They need their boots. Right? All praise. Oh, damn. Yeah. <laughs> all praises to the most. <laughs> That's right. Hey, we got to give all praise and right. honor good to the most high God. Man. All praise. And let's give the most high round of applause, man. All praise. All praises. Right? All right, Anna. All right. Hey, Anna, get in good shape, all right? I'm going to need you on that plantation. All right? All praises to the most high, man. So let me get Matthew 4 and 17, man. Right? Let me get Matthew 4 and 17. And let me get that in, uh, let me get uh, Revelation 2 and 25. Right? Because that's prophecy being fulfilled. These things are going to happen in these last days. Right? I don't know about Karen, but Anna, she might get some, you know, you, you might show her just a little bit of mercy. Right? Instead of doing 5,000 push-ups, she might have to do 4,000 push-ups. Right? All right, Anna. Hey, Ken. Hey, Ken. Hey, Ken, we're going to have to hunt you down, Ken. Right? I don't really like the way you did that, Ken. All right? Yeah, tell Ken to straighten up. 
Alright, you gotta straighten up, Ken, alright? Read that. Book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already heard, fast till I come. And he that overcometh, he that do what? And he that overcometh, the Lord said, he that overcometh, right? You so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans that repent, come back to these commandments and endure to the end, read. And keepeth my works. And do what? And keepeth my works until the end. To him will I give power over the nation. Will I give what? Give power over the nation. In the last days, we strive to have power over the nations. Right? We want to have power over the so-called white man. We want to have power over the so-called white woman. Over all these other nations that have continued to oppress our people. Right? You know? Verse 27. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. What we gonna do to Anna? Rule them with a rod of iron. We gonna do to Karen? Rule them with a rod of iron. The Lord said we gonna rule these other nations with a rod of iron. We as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers. Wait, what's gonna happen to Karen? Be broken to shivers. What's gonna happen to Anna? Be broken to shivers. Christ said out his own mouth, all these other nations gonna be broken in shivers, right? Thus saith the Lord, thus saith the Holy Bible. These are the things that's coming upon the earth, right? So you so-called white people have to get ready to go into captivity. Right. You so-called white people need to get ready to have the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans ruling over you. Right. Right, read on. Even as I received of my father. That's it on that. So read what you got in Matthew 4 and 17. We're going to close it out. The book of Matthew, chapter 4, verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shag began to preach and to say, Repent. Do what? Repent. Do what? Repent. For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom. For the what? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Is that what? Is at hand. Is that what? Is at hand. I shall let me tell you, week in and week out. The kingdom of heaven is at hand for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. If you didn't know, you're living in the last days, and if you want to escape the death, destruction, the famine, and the pestilence that's coming to the earth, you got to repent, you got to come back to the Lord, and you got to keep his law, statutes, and commandments, man. Right? But with that, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh and Shalom. Put